This sensor example will demonstrate connecting a 4 to 20 milliamp precision rotary potentiometer to channel 4 of a 500 range data taker data logger. First we need to wire the device. We examine the documentation and we see that this device needs 24 volts DC plus or minus 4 volts. We need to provide a power supply of this range. One possibility is that you can use up to 28 volts to power the logger. If this is done this way, a single power supply could be used for both the logger and the sensor. If you are dealing with low power applications, there is a subsequent presentation to deal with this. We wire the positive wire from the sensor to the 24 volt supplier. We wire the other wire from the sensor to the R terminal on channel 4. There is an inbuilt resistor between the R terminal and the ground of a data taker 500. The ground supply from the from the power is connected to the ground supply from the logger. We now have a current loop established with a 100 ohm resistor built into the data taker providing the volts drop which the logger measures. It's important when you're using current loop with a 500 range loggers to keep any high voltages away from the logger as most of the 500 range loggers can only withstand 3 volts directly connected. They'll only measure that much. If we examine the documentation, we notice the scaling on this device is plus or minus 45 degrees. That is, 4 milliamp would be equivalent to minus 45 and 20 milliamp would be equivalent to 45. When the measurement is described in the data taker as a current loop, the data taker automatically converts so this 4 to 20 milliamp to 0 to 100%. We start with the 500 range programming window. Now we have a DT500 series logger connected uh, if the software connection has been established, so first thing we do, we need to right click Add Channel, it's an analog channel, channel 4, and we're measuring current. Now we have wired it between the R and the ground terminal, we select that. Now if we check current loop, the reading will be converted from 0 to 100% instead of 4 to 20 milliamp. So we click OK. There's our reading, now we need to scale this reading. We click on the settings tab, right click on span, select the properties. Now the physical parameters are going to vary between minus 45 to 45 and the sensor signal because we have checked it is a current loop 0 to 100%. The engineering units will be degrees. We apply this, click OK. Now we've created that span, now we've got to apply that span to the measurement. So we come back to the measurement, right click on here, channel options, data conversion, scaling, span, there's our degrees conversion. Now we simply now add a label to it which is just the uh, angle, click OK. Now we send this program now to the connection and we check now the um, text window for the return information. I'll clear these two windows here. There's our angle and as we adjust, we see it goes, it's a very sensitive device this. We leave it alone and you'll find it will be pretty well rock stable.